that in. I just hope that the motor starts. <laughs> it's sitting for three weeks, so. Yeah, we'll see how we go today down at the Port of Brisbane to see what's on. There's a little bit on here. Guy bloody doing some work on the boat ramp, but um, we should be right. So let's get her in the water, see what we can make happen. She starts, it's been sitting for three weeks. Bit rough. <laughs> bit rough, the old girl. Sorry, mate. <laughs> She's a bit timid. Bit of a timid start up, but we're going. That's good. Just let it go for five minutes before I drive it. <laughs> Well, I hope that everybody is ready for some OG Drew M content because we're back on the, the brown snake, back in the Brizzy River. We're going to go and look for some threadies and Jews. We'll probably find a few, but we probably won't catch them. Uh, and then we'll just fall back to our our old brim, the old brimming uh, in the brown snake. So that's kind of the plan today. Just wanted to get the boat out for a run, which is a bit rough starting this morning. Um, so yeah, kind of need to run. I kind of need to run. So uh, let's get into it. Fish. There's some fish here rolling through. Came across a little school there. A little school there. So quick go here and see what happens. Where do they go? Oh, fuck. They just move so quick, hey? Not even sitting here anymore. Tribe's over there. Yeah, Try and bring it down with them. No biting. Not biting, not biting. Yeah, I'm gonna drop into it. Doesn't look like there's any predators on it but let's have a look around it see what we can find tuna in the Brisbane River in winter tunas tuna fishing at its finest say <laughs> chasing them around I had enough of that. This is fucking silliness. Alright, well, we've had the not the greatest look up through here, so we might as well get the brim gear out now and hit this pipe and barge and whatever and work our way back down as that tide pushes back in. So it's gonna be the plan, Jen. It's gonna be the plan. Sometimes you just gotta take the fish on offer. Alright, grab this. Brim rod out. I sold all my brim gear, so to go and get this rod off my brother. I remember I gave it to him for a bit of a whatever he was doing. I might try a little halt prawn, eh? First up, a little white halt prawn. I haven't caught anything on the two inch halt prawns yet, so let's give them a go, see how they go. No doubt they'll catch a few brim for us. In she goes. A light little jig head, boom, away we go. Put that down. Oh, I haven't brimmed in, must be well over a year. Maybe like, maybe like 18 months since I've gone brim fishing, I'd say. So we'll see how we go today. Turn that sounder off. Don't need it on. It's gonna be a brim. Brim around here somewhere, surely. Got to be one. This whole brim's in here. Oh, nibble. <laughs> Missed him. Probably struck him a bit hard. <laughs> Nibbles.
Says on. Yep. Oh, did he get it? No, he didn't get it. What happened? Is he gonna eat it or what? It's a massive brim too. Oh, come on, eat it. There's so many there. Oh my god, eat it, the fucking thing. That was a massive brim. Why others? Could probably go even a bit lighter on the weight. Go a little bit lighter on that weight. It's sinking fast, I think, because the um. Because the Hulk Prawn plastic as well sinks, you don't really need that much weight on it, is what I'm thinking. Like we were at 112, so now we'll go down to a one, we'll go down to a hidden weight, which is a 120 something, 120 something. Let's try that little, that little trickster. You can get another one to come out and eat. He's on it, he's on it. There he is, yep, got him. Yep, decent one too. Oh, pulled him. Fair out. did it take him to eat it properly? It took him forever to eat it. There we go. First brim. Back into it. Bought like a wet paper bag too, didn't you? <laughs> it's, a slow, it's a very slow bite <laughs> at the minute. Come here. Little brizzy. He took forever to eat it properly. Didn't you, mate? Come on, you little, little halt prawn brimbos. Oh yeah, pretty standard, standard kind of fella. Little fella on the, on the whole prawn there. Hidden weight, whole prawn, what's he? Just shy of 30 or something for anyone that's interested. There you go. She's a very slow bite at the minute. Like he, he pecked at it and pecked at it and pecked at it before he even took the whole thing down. So, very slow bite, very slow. But that's a start. Yep, he's got it. He bought it. Yeah, he's, he's bit it. He's got it. Yeah, there he is. Got it. Got him. Oh, that's not a bad one, actually. That's not a bad one. Very slow bite, though. Very slow. Come here. Come here. Not a bad fish, actually, hey? Not a bad fish at all, that one. He's woken up. Oh, Brimbo's giving me troubles. He's not a bad fish though. He's a very nice fish actually. <laughs> very nice fish. Actually. Very, very nice brim that one. That's actually a very that's a fucking cracking brim actually. That's a that's a real that's a real brim. My second brim back is a real one. <laughs> Look at that! That's a stonker. That's that's what that's what you brim fish for. Look at that, he's got it right in the corner of the blubber and it just comes out like that. That's how slow the bite is. Like, he pecked it, pecked it, pecked it, and then I hit him. And um, there you go. Back in there, Brims. Ready? Oh, you Good Brim. Probably a little bit of a, not, I wouldn't say a master class, but just a thing with fishing. These brim, as they do get in moods sometimes where anybody, literally anybody could catch them when they're on. But today they're kind of, they're on, they're not quite fired up. Like they're still there, but they if you're hitting them, if you're trying to set hooks on that first little nibble, you're missing them, you know what I mean? So you kind of got to let them hit it, turn with it, and then gobble it a little bit more. The old double, 
the old turn and gobble. <laughs> <laughs> the old turn and gobble kind of thing but yeah that's the kind of mood they're in today and if you can sort of take note of their moods there's just sometimes when I can go into a canal and I can just if I see brim you know doing certain things I just go oh there's no point even fishing in here because they're not they're just it's going to be tough it's going to be tough they're just in the moods so they get in so let's try this side again they do have a bit of a cooling off period the old brim if you hit a pond, there's one there. Hit it on the bottom. He hit that on the drop, but he didn't eat it. But um, say if you go like this, we know there's plenty of brims under here, but once they sort of come out and have a go, that group of fish don't tend to come back and have another go. That's the same as if you're fishing a pontoon, people get stuck on the fact that there's 20 fish under that pontoon and they all come out and miss your lure. You might get maybe another cast if they're in an amazing mood, but for the most part, you get one cast and if you don't get them, you don't get them. So. Which is, these bigger barges, you tend to have a little bit more time with them. You know, like I've been able to go up and down here on the front and on the back and sort of got two bites and a couple of follows and misses. So yeah, anyways, we'll go over that way a bit now and have a look. Right, there's brim under this. I can see the brim already under this. See where the stripes, where that bigger gap is? They're just all sitting under there. Oh, I spooked them. And that's the kind of mood they're in. Bit of a spooky mood. Bit of a spooky mood there. But no, that's all right, it's good. We kind of let them find it themselves. Yeah, see there's one there too. A bit spooky on the pot. A little bit spooky on the pot. That's all right. We'll get them. They're dotted. It can be a bit spooky here. Like, look at them there. There. He might find that one. So he's going over to look at that himself. That's kind of what you gotta get them coming over and trying to find it themselves. Still didn't eat it. That's all right. Oh yeah, here he comes. Yep, got it. Yep, he come and found it. He's only a small one. But he come and found it himself and that's gonna be the that's gonna be what the, the trick is today on this. It's only a little one. He'd only just be legal probably. Oh, get off there. There you go, little fella. But yeah, that's gonna be the trick here today because they're in a bit of a strange mood. Sometimes you can just come along and off there. Sometimes you can just come along and they'll eat anything that hits the water kind of thing, you know, but yeah, you, it's you, it's a delicate balance between getting where the fish are and getting too close and too far, so yeah, there you go. Very poor form. Look at that, that dead set. I thought that was a fucking little squid or something, eh? That's why turtles eat them, mate. Another fucking plastic bag. Seriously, need to get rid of it up. Fucking plastic everywhere, man. Man. No worries at all. Get out of here, these guys. Bring a ship in here, so we'll get out of here. Try a different strategy. I want to try the old crankbaits so any any one of these crankbaits would do the trick but basically the thing that it's this one Zeric one Zeric ones are pretty good actually straight out of the box oh there's a good brim <laughs> first cast <gasps> zip just cranked it cranked him just full just cranked him in the side of the head full just in the side of the head the old the old crankbait in the side of the old head that easy funny little dude hey just cranking some brims up cranking these brims up crank a few of these brimbos there's white 
crank a few brimbos, 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 crank a few brimbos, there's a brimbo, brimbos, small one, all little poo eaters these ones, we're going to be small ones here if this is the case, just big schools of little fellas, get off there, get off, get out of here you seagulls, this one, it's not even big enough, Oh, uh, he's tiny. Oh, he took a little bit. He's in the car, though. Hey, bro, you not bad? He's not bad. He's skinny. Long and skinny. Yep, that's a female, that one. Bye-bye. That one was right up. You can have, you know, 10 to 20 fish days just doing this. There's one. He's missed it. Little poop shooters. There's a little poop shooter. <laughs> he's hit that running. <laughs> he's off. <laughs> he, he's a, oh, he's come back for it. <laughs> you gonna eat it, mate? Or what are you doing? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> he's missed it again. They're all small ones, I reckon, eh? They're just tiny little dudes. There's he. <laughs> I to, to do it, give him a little jerky jerk on that one. Feels a small one, I think. Just needed a little tiny little little jerk. Tell you, mate. Goes on. Jump on. Jump on, champion. Yep, he's tiny though. He's a little turd. Come here. Just tons and tons and tons of those little dudes. I don't know how long this is. How long would this be exciting for to watch? I don't know. But. Go into that current there again. See if there's any big fellas. Big lads. <laughs> Walked at the boat. <laughs> they followed it all the way to the boat. A whole bunch of them. A whole bunch of the little dudes. Hey -ya. Oh, how did he just eat that right at the boat? I just wanted it in to do another cast. Like, there's that many down. Tons and tons and tons. Give me a little dude. He's a bit fat, that one. Twist every bit of line up in the boat. Yeah, I don't know. Is that enough brimming? Is that enough brimming? It's almost too easy, eh? Huh? Almost too easy. It's like I've clocked brimming. Clocked it. Clocked brimming. Change spots, eh? Let's change spots. Change spots. I don't know how much brimming is enough brimming, but I don't know. Comment. Comment to how long a brim video you would watch. Consider doing an hour long brim video. Alright. And get a few on these pilings. Small. Small one. Small one. I'm telling you, it's just, just too easy, guys. It's just fucking, just fucking way too easy. I'm telling you. Way too easy, guys. Get out. Get under there. This one. Oh. Cracker. Cracker. Oh. Come out. <laughs> Not as big as I thought he was, but. Hit it running. Oh, he's underneath, that's all. Oh, hooked underneath that old trick, eh? Ooh. Ooh, go! Jesus. 